Welcome back to Bear Tales. I'm uh, just taking a quick break from recording a voiceover um, that I'm struggling with and that's mostly down to it still being hot and with it still being hot not getting a lot of sleep so focus is non-existent um, but I'm just going to do a very quick unboxing or unpacking anyway and I just realised I haven't covered the address on this one so I will try and keep that out of frame um, so yeah I've got some more fabric for future projects one of these I got um, because they were selling out um, there wasn't much left and I didn't want to run out before I was ready to use it so because that would have been really disappointing you know and I don't know if it's something they'd get back or if it was just like limited or something like that Ooh. we're going there we go so first up we've got two different sets of bear eyes uh, they are 12 millimeter and 15 millimeter and they're for um, my current bear in progress, the one that I stopped because I realised I hadn't got eyes for him um, and I wasn't sure what size I wanted so I thought if I get both then I've got those. I apologise for the camera wobble, um, it's currently perched on top of a pot of gesso, um, has got one of these little grippy tripod thingies that I've shown you before um, that it's also attached to but this table is extremely wobbly and so it yeah it picks up everything I try not to shake the desk too much um, but that's why my tripod which actually I didn't realize you could just see the edge of the gooseneck there is on the drawers next to it so then hopefully it doesn't wobble too much anyway on to the fabric we have got this is petrol blue and it's bamboo jersey now this I got this because I've been teaching myself how to make bear clothes and I wasn't sure the kind of fabric I wanted um, so I just got this one to see uh, if it was anything like what I'd want for t-shirts and things it's a really nice colour actually I like that and then got the first two samples for the big project um, that I sneak peeked and again we got this is a crushed velvet I think um, oh it just says canary yellow which is the colour and that's I, I really like that that's gonna work well and this is gonna be the fur colour for it I think they go quite well together I have to check my other yellow samples uh, to make sure they all match and then we got this pastel rainbow which is for something very special it's actually for a rescue squad episode but yeah I think that's gonna work very well for that and then what else we got ah. <laughs> it would be the black that is absolutely covered in all the fur and this is polar fleece and this is for bear me because um, I don't normally start work on rescue squad episodes until I've got all the fabric I want for it um, but because I was designing the template from him um, you know I needed to start sooner rather than later so I could work on that as well yeah that feels really nice as it always does I'm excited to use that it's a bit more than I probably need for him it's always good to have extras just in case but also for any other projects and oh this is the one that they were was selling out of now this is the reindeer fur that it's obviously faux fur I should point that out um, but reindeer pattern looks a little different to the sample I got but it might not be uh, I'm not sure I'd have to look um, but yeah I'm really happy I got that because um, that's gonna be a good project when that comes up which I'm hoping towards the end of the year 
Uh, we'll just have to see how the big project goes. And as I say, I'm behind on the videos where they should be, but also doing two a week means, you know, um, we'll get through them quicker. But, um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm trying to think, which I need to stop doing. Not stop thinking, but trying to work it out because I've got the schedule up until the start of October done um, with the exception of the extra uh, vlog episodes uh, that's the only thing I've not added in and finally this one I'm really excited for it oh, it's so soft we have rainbow fur well no it's polar fleece again um, this is the cuddle soft variety I think double sided colour soft I love it I could cuddle this all day and it's it's actually again it's for um, a rescue squad episode again I don't need look, see now we've got fluff everywhere um, I'm smashing my knee against the desk which doesn't help the wobble uh, train of thought somewhere um, yeah it's for a rescue squad episode and I don't need all that much at least I don't think so because um, I'm potentially using other fabrics with it I just need to see if they actually match if they do then I'll use this and the other fabrics if the colors don't match then I will just use this um, but I will be making a bear out of this as well because it's so soft I can't not and just have a rainbow coloured bear. Um, I used to have a builder bear that was rainbow coloured. Um, his name was Noah and I'd love to make a rainbow bear but that will probably wait till my patterns are a little bit better or a little more refined. Um, I'm going to be working on the bear and me one, refining that one. Um, obviously I sketched out the initial pattern and I need to draw out the actual template pieces which I'm going to be doing possibly over the weekend I'm not sure um, again I'm recording ahead of what's releasing so this today's the 15th of June um, so it's gonna be a couple of weeks I think before I actually release this video um, yeah, oh, it's... my brain's turned to mush in all this heat. It's ridiculous. But I'll think of something. Maybe. Um, definitely need to try and sort out my tripod situation. Um, because, let me just spin you quickly. I don't know if you can, come on, there we go. So this one, this one's fine. It's just fixed, so this doesn't. Um, tilt forward uh, which I'd like um, so I can't do top down views from it so what I did originally was I attached this little um, gizmo to it um, so that it could tilt but the tilt on this has um, basically I've used it too much and now it doesn't stay still um, it seems to be okay on top of the gesso pot um, and it's not overbalanced but when it's actually on top of the other tripod it can't grip anymore and it just collapses which is not very good um, and I was in the middle of recording when it just fell off completely um, yeah so I need to sort that I'll get a second gooseneck I think um, for top downs it's just the face to face like this um, that might be an issue um, because although it looks like I've got a lot of space behind my desk uh, I actually haven't um, because of the way the wall is shaped so um, literally the bottom of the desk is touching the base of the wall um, despite it looking like there's this gap I thought about adding like a shelf to it like screwing a shelf to the desk but then still get the wobble from the desk as I say this desk just isn't stable though actually that might be because under this desk I've got a piece of fabric 
um, because this was going to be my messy desk originally but because the wobble was so bad I made that one the messy desk so the fabric's kind of there unnecessarily however this floor is also a bit unstable itself unstable you know there's like dips and things in it and onky floorboards that kind of thing um, so yeah I might see if I can get the fabric out from under the desk um, the only issue is this desk is rubber wood so it's really heavy um, but there's only one way to find out anyway I really need to stop rambling now because like I said this heat is getting to me and I still got a voiceover to record if I want this video to release today and I'm still getting fur everywhere um, video that's about to release is the blizzard video um, so if you haven't watched that go watch it I'll link it down below and I will see you cubs in the next one